Hi YouTube. Uh, I just want to show you guys something pretty cool that I came across on my 2014 Ford F-150. Um, you might be able to do this on a few other Ford models. I've never actually tried personally, but I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, this will basically work for any 2011 to 2014 Ford F-150 pickup, maybe even the new uh, 2015 and 2016 models. There's probably a way to do it on there too. But it's basically an engineering mode or the dealer mode as it might also be called in the, uh, the computer system that basically lets the engineers or dealership get into there and you can see a bunch of diagnostics and stuff. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. It's really, really simple. Nothing to it. Anybody can do it. And it might actually come in hand sometime. But uh, basically all you do is before you start up your vehicle, which I'll go ahead and kill it, uh, see this OK button on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. You just hold this down. And let me put the phone down real quick. Uh, turn your vehicle on. Uh, leave it held down until the engineering test mode pops up and you let go of the OK button. And it'll do a gauge test. Um, you just hit the OK button, you can cycle through it, uh, do different colors, uh, test all your bulbs. Uh, it's got part numbers, whatever that's for. A lot of this stuff you can't really use. Some of the most useful things on here is it actually has a digital speedometer, which this is it right here. And I always thought that was pretty neat, especially if you ever race one of these things or whatever, and you want to see how fast you're going past 120, well, this is the way to do it. Um, you can see it in kilometers. Uh, you got a digital tack on here. Um, fuel level inputs, which I don't really know if you can use that for anything, but let's see. But anyways, there's all kinds of different things. There's the coolant temp you just seen. Uh, just all kinds of different things. You can cycle through here. You can see your battery voltage. Uh, odometer you basically just cycle through and if you could use anything you find on here it's great but you just cycle all the way through and you can go back to the original gauge test that it starts with and that's basically all it is I mean it's kind of neat if you could use it but just figured I'd show you guys. I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, but to get out of it, if you ever want to, you can just leave it on and drive around with it. It won't hurt anything. But if you want to get out, just shut your vehicle off. And if you ever turn it back on, it just goes right back to normal to the normal screen. But that's it, guys.